Hey everyone, Steve here with Muse Themes. I'm excited today to show you the brand new August 2017 version of Adobe Muse. So this is the first major update that we've had in a while and the focus of this update for Adobe was on converting the native widgets in Muse to be fully responsive. So if you're not familiar with what a native widget is, basically it's a widget that you'll find built right into the application, not downloaded from a third party like Muse Themes. So you'll find them under the widget library panel and they're typically things like compositions, forms, slideshows, that sort of thing. Now, these widgets were not responsive when Muse became responsive back in 2016. So it kind of felt like half the app only was truly responsive. But now with this release, uh, many of these widgets are responsive, specifically compositions, slideshows, forms, which is amazing, and accordions I've tested and they work well. So it's a great release and what it does is actually allow you to now utilize many of these design widgets that we have on Muse themes in your responsive sites. So let me jump into this and show you how it works. So when I drag a composition out on the canvas, just like that. Now I've done a ton of videos on working with these compositions, but previously with a composition like this, and let's make it a little bit bigger. This is the target area. And so now when we click on any of these triggers, something can change in there. If we had it like this on a responsive site, which this is, when we scale the browser down, before, what would happen is this wouldn't shrink at all. It was just a static element with no fluid properties. So now when I drag the new one out on the canvas, you can see it's adapting to the site uh, layout, the site width, and it is indeed fully responsive. You won't need to make brand new breakpoints unless you want to kind of reshuffle it around to make it work. So let's take an older version of a composition. Now I've taken some on the Museum site. We have one called Slick Stack, which is a composition gallery that we created. So let me open that in Muse. So if I just double click, it will be converted to the new Muse version. Okay, and it's here in my library. I have it twice actually, and I'm gonna drag it out onto the canvas. Okay, and it's quite wide. I mean, this is a nine, built at 960, so it's taking up the absolute full width of this browser. So this is an older widget built originally in the non-responsive Muse. So when I begin to scale it down, you'll notice that it's not shrinking, it's not responding at all. But you don't need to rebuild these widgets from scratch. All you need to do is start clicking into various elements and applying responsive properties to them. So what I'm gonna do is select this target area here, which is kind of this whole, you know, the whole batch of the three of these, and I'm gonna change it to responsive width just like that. And now when I scale it down, let's see what happens there. So everything's scaling appropriately. So now you can apply those responsive width properties to these types of widgets. And we can also go in and, and remove or enable different pinning options for each of the elements within this. So right now I think we have, we're in pretty good shape. There's no pinning applied there. And actually it's working really well. So we could shrink this down until let's say there, more of a mobile size. Then we could create a new breakpoint. And then from there, we could go ahead and just start shuffling and moving everything around. We could stack these all up. But to have this ability with a composition is something we've never had in Muse. And you can see it's really easy to take an older widget and make it fully responsive by just applying those responsive sizing properties. So let's delete that and let's take a look at a form. So forms, in my opinion, were the worst thing to not have be fully responsive in Muse because every site needs a good form. And unless you're using a third party like Wufoo or Jotform, it made the forms in Muse completely useless on a responsive site. So here's an old contact form that we pre-styled for people and it's available in our library. Prior to this release, if we scaled the browser down, you'll notice that it's not doing anything. It's just pushing off the side. Well, now we can go ahead and click into the individual form fields and you can see the resizing properties are available. Let's set responsive width. And I'm also going to turn off pinning on this. Now, one thing to pay attention when you're converting your forms to responsive is you've got this first text field selected and you change it to responsive width. Well, if you have edit together turned on, which is this button down here, it's going to apply that responsive control to every single form or every single field on the form. So just with that one little change, when I scale it down, you'll notice that form elements are indeed shrinking now with the browser size and you'll notice the submit button wasn't. So let's go ahead and select the submit button and decide what we want to do there. Probably responsive width and same thing with our form message. We could put it over here perhaps and let's change the responsive width on that as well. 
okay, let's give it a shot. So we drag things down, everything shrinks, it looks good. We get down to a size where it's too skinny and we could revise the layout completely on a new breakpoint. So forms, slideshows and compositions, fully responsive now, this is fantastic news in my opinion. Okay, so that's one of the best new features on this new version of Muse. And I do just want to point out again that if you go on the Muse Seam site and we go to widgets and under the filter we select our design series here, you'll see that we have a ton of these native widgets. There's lots of sidebars and galleries and things like that, all built using those compositions and slideshows that are now available to be used on your responsive site. So take advantage of that. Okay, so next up in terms of new features, we have a little usability improvement that I think is really great. And let me drag that slick stack gallery back on the canvas for a sec here. Okay, and I'll just position it in the center. So this is built using a composition widget. Now one thing if you work with these widgets often is if you need to click down into, into this title here that says image caption five, you'd have to click once and then it clicks the full composition, click again, and it'll go into this big state button, click again into the target, click again. Okay, so four or five clicks to get down to this one element. Well, there's a little usability improvement in New Muse where if you just double click on any element, it digs down instantly and selects just that element for you. So you can do it over here. Basically on anything you need to select, just double click on it and you're done. I think that's a great usability improvement because when you're working with big compositions, you end up clicking a thousand times to get into the elements you want, and it gets kind of annoying after a while. The last thing that I'll say about this new release is that I do believe it is faster, noticeably faster. When I've been working with big sites in it, it seems faster to load, and it does seem faster to export as well. And although that's not necessarily a flashy new feature of this new version, I believe that the time savings that you'll find from the improvements in the app uh, really begin to stack up after a while and it'll make a noticeable difference for you. So those are the three primary features of this new release. We've got speed enhancements, we've got this kind of double clicking nesting sub element capability. And of course we have clearly the focus of the release for Adobe, which is converting all of the major native widgets to be fully responsive. So that's the new release of Muse. Enjoy, and I'm excited that we've seen something new. It's been a long wait, so hopefully we can see some brand new features added to Muse in the next few releases. And thanks again for being a member of Muse Themes. Cheers.